Certainly did not look as though he was about to stop out and cry. I cried out, I can't, I can't eat anymore, I'm going to be sick. He was still in the running. And now a subtle change was coming over the 250 children in the audience. Early on they had sensed impending disaster. They had prepared themselves for an unpleasant scene, which the wretched boy stood to the gills with chocolate cake would have to surrender and beg for mercy. And then they would have watched the triumphant trench ball forcing more and still more cake into the mouth of the gasping boy. Not a bit of it. Bruce Bogdrotter was three quarters of the way through and still going strong. One cent that he was beginning to enjoy himself. He had a mountain to climb and he was jolly well going to reach the top or die in the attempt. What is more, he had now become very conscious of his audience and of how they were sad. Silently rooting for him. This was nothing more than a battle between him and the mighty Trunchbull. So one suddenly shouted, Come on, Brucey, you can make it. The Trunchbull wheeled around and yelled, Silent. The Trunchbull watched intently. They were thoroughly caught up in the contest. They were longing to start cheering, but they did, didn't dare. I think he's going to make it, Matilda whispered. I think so too. face or turn the color 